for local ingredients and how it affects teenagers. El bicho, Messi chiquito, and Mamberoy are three friends that are going to a party tonight. These three friends have three different types of dream, of, of dreams. One of them got a monster, another one got a beer, and the other one got a tonayan. They had the idea of mixing all three substances, making a new drink that will have the capacity of getting you more drunker than a kawama of Carta Blanca. They had a great time at the party, thanks to the drink that they mixed. Everybody got super drunk, uh, and that was the main purpose of this new drink. In the morning, fortunately, they all ended in their houses. However, they don't remember how they got there, and the hangover forced them to prepare a menudito. A new drink was a boom in the Paris. Teenagers started liking it a lot, so these three friends uh, decided to bring this new drink to the market. A few years later, at first they created a company, Fusion Projects, in 2005, which started as a company nationwide, focusing on the production and selling of alcoholic beverages. In 2008 was when they finally launched a drink that they created, but with the name of Four Loco. After they launched for Loco, the drink became so popular that the company started to grow, grow globally. These cans were sold at supermarkets as Walmart, Target, Target and HEV. This drink was very appealing for young people. It is a cheap drink and due to its high uh, alcohol level and potential, uh, in caffeine, people could be drunk and not be aware of it continue drinking for all night. Students from Central Washington University ended up in a hospital after having a party and drinking for loco. This gave the drink the nickname of blackout in a can. This caught the eyes of some states like Vermont, Massachusetts, and Michigan which decided to ban that drink. In 2010, scientists discovered that this drink produced huge health issues due to the mix of caffeine and alcohol. Four Loco has the same amount of alcohol if we compare it with six beers, and if we add the caffeine, then this beverage becomes a bomb. After a lot of complaints from parents, professors, and scientists, the F FDA gave for local chance to keep their product in the market only if they remove caffeine from their ingredients. For Loco agreed to remove caffeine. Some advocates say that the FDA went too far and the, that the FDA should start treating consumers all enough to purchase alcoholic beverage as adults. Nowadays, for local is still available in Mexico and in most of the states in the United States, but still many people are still against it, even when the producers have decided to take out several ingredients. Remember, don't drink any alcoholic beverages in excess. <laughs>